Hello guys. So, this is my second time doing the voiceover because something happened with the voiceover. I'm not really gonna get into it, but it's like not there anymore and I can't use it, so. Before we talk about uh, anything, I would like to shout out um, an artist called uh, Drawing with Finn and she does beautiful, beautiful art. Uh, you should definitely check her out. She's gonna be in the link in the description below. Um, this is just like a quick, really quick sketch of uh, testing the colors. I wasn't actually trying to like it or anything, as you're gonna see that later, but yeah, I wasn't actually trying to like it or anything. So, I was just testing out the colors. Uh, I don't actually like the pose or anything. But, yeah, I just used a reference picture, I did a really quick sketch to see how the colors would work. Um, sorry about the recording, um, that you can't see, like, part of the painting thing. Uh, that's my bad. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. I wasn't really feeling this picture, I just saw a picture and I was like, let's just do it and just testing it anyway. But, yeah. I do not like this painting and I'm not gonna try to. Alright, so now I'm just adding some blush because maybe blush would like help the painting a little. I wasn't actually trying to like it as you just heard, you know, but I always gotta add blush. Um, so yeah, in this video, you're gonna actually see like my style, um, how I draw like n regularly. Um, I am aware that I have thin necks in my art style and that's what I'm trying to do. So it's not really a big deal for me. Really excited for this picture actually. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna make up my own colors, but I kind of know what colors I'm gonna do. And I also and kind of really I already saw the colors on the person and no that is not all I need but that is good enough for now. Um I'm making my own skin tone because this thing does not have skin tone and I accidentally add too, way too much red. Yeah. Okay. So I am way too excited right now. Okay, calm down. Because I just really like drawing like I feel like the reason why I like drawing girls is because how colorful they can be and I feel like boys when I find a boy picture that has that I'm just so drawn to it and honestly if you're a boy and you like colorful like clothing like pink and blue and like lolalita style and goth or mixture like how some people think that only girls can have that, but honestly, I mean, it's just, why can't they have it if, you know, people are like, oh, well, girls can wear boys clothes. Well, I'm not saying it's boys clothes, girls clothes either, because it's just colorful stuff. It's not even clothes. It's just colors. Like, who cares? It's just colors. Anyway, <laughs> um... No one actually cares, actually. Most people, at least. If you do, well, you're one of the rarities. Um, honestly, I think it's kind of fun that they, like, experiment with styles. You know? Most people are scared to do that. And they're scared to be looked at weird. And I'm one of those people. I ha I, I envision this style. And it's kind of rare when I actually wear it. Well, when I do, I like it, but I kind of feel unconfident with it because I feel like, what if people look and they're like, that's weird. One time I saw this neon, like neon yellow, uh, like this outfit, just, it, it had neon pants with like black. I like bright colors mixed with black. Like you always have to have black in your outfit sort of thing. And chokers and black nail polish and 
more chokers. <laughs> um, that's kind of what I like. With shorts, high knee socks, or black skirts, high knee socks. Either you have a, a pink skirt and a black shirt, or a black skirt and a pink shirt with a black choker. and You know, a mixture. And I have dyed hair with like a half shaven head. So I feel like if I go that route, people will think, oh, you know, that it's a sign of like a rebellious kid. I feel like that's stupid. You know, it's just a style. It doesn't actually define you as a person. But, you know, it's still kind of scary because people can make it define you as a person. Oh my gosh, I forgot the lighting. Where's the lighting coming from? From the guy. I'm just going to make it up. Whatever. Don't do crazy lighting unless you actually know your what kind of what you're doing with this. I, I I'm not used to expensive watercolors at all because I'm used to just watercolors that kind of are really cheap, like five bucks or from the dollar store. I actually don't use those because they're. They're so bad. I literally can't work with them. I mean, I'll say thank you if anyone gives it to me, but I'm just not going to use them because I can't actually use them. First of all, it tears up my paper. It really does. It tears up paper. And yes, if you get really good paper, but ah, this is the first time I've ever gotten really good paper. So before I couldn't use it, like it would tear up the paper. It... I mean, I guess I could try again with good paper now. That could be a challenge, which it is actually a challenge. So, I guess I should do it uh, one of these days. I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I think I am. So, I'm going in with black, of course. Uh, in the picture, it really did have a black shirt. But, uh, for some reason, I'm adding... <laughs> A shul shoulder shirt. I'm like, this is a girl shirt. I'm like, why not? Just why not? You know, it's my sketchbook. I'm gonna do crazy stuff with it. First of all, I've never actually seen a boy wear this sort of shirt because it is a girl shirt, but I've never actually seen it on any guy. But you know, it could be a boy shirt. Why not? You know. And I bet there are people out there that are boys that wear these type of things. I was going to go off the sleeve and I was like, mm, no, I won't want anyone to find this and see an off the sleeve thing on this boy. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, but seriously, I love this picture. I mean, I mostly love just... When I love the picture I'm referencing, I generally, even if the picture doesn't turn out good, I like it because when I look at it, I think of the picture I looked at and I get happy. So I do like doing fan art mostly and uh, also reference pictures. There's sometimes where I just take inspiration and do it, but you know, I'm gonna go with his hair. It's gonna be bright green. Never done this before. Holy cow! Okay, <laughs> I am so excited because I just, I saw that green and it's so beautiful. It's so very, very vibrant. And I am not used to that. So, uh, so vibrant. It's like a neon green. Oh my gosh. I almost want neon green hair now. You know, I rarely actually show how I actually act in a video, but this is how excited I get when I draw. <laughs> and I don't usually show it on camera because it's usually a speed paint, but I don't know. I don't think I'll do a speed paint this time because I'm actually finally showing how I act on camera. And I never do that. And I am so excited. Oh my gosh, look at that man green. We are doing some more paint. Yeah, as I said before, um, the neck is pretty thin. I'm pretty sure I said this before, but 
that's just my art style. Um, actually, it's supposed to be thinner than what this is um, most of the time. It's mostly actually thinner than this. It is the hair color. Um, I really like the face. But I will address, like, you know, before when I was like, oh, I don't know why I don't want it off sleeve. Okay, so yes, I do the line art with colored pencils because like I like how it looks better with watercolors um so I did learn it last that's just how I like doing it so yeah my art style is kind of like an anime art style ish and also I actually dress like this in real life so please don't judge me like I have dyed green with spike choker as you can see in my profile picture so like it, it's kind of weird but I like it, so who cares, you know? It's not harming anyone. So yeah, um, koodles, my noodles. And don't forget to draw a poodle. Side note, my channel used to be called Sketch Puppy, so that's why it was Sketch Puppy. I thought I was gonna name it Sketch Puppy, but it's not called Sketch Puppy. So that's why the signature is Sketch Puppy. But now it's Doodle Your Noodles, so yes. I should fix that.